Hello everyone. In this video, I will show some tips and tricks in Visual Studio Code that will make you code faster. You will see why Visual Studio Code is a beast, and known to be the one of the best code editor today. In this video, I will not cover everything that Visual Studio Code has, but I will cover 13 tips, shortcuts, or features, whatever you name it, that I hope it will be useful to you. Let's begin. So we have two files index.js and index1.js. Let's open both of them. As you can see, both of the files are almost identical with minor differences. index1.js has one more element in the array, while index.js has a line 5, where it's console.logging something. Sometimes, you want to know what are the differences between two files. Here, Visual Studio Code comes handy. To see the differences, first you have to select the file that you are comparing to. In this case, I want to compare index1 with index. So I have to right-click the index1.js and select for compare. Next, I have to select the file that I am comparing with. In this case, index.js. So let's right-click on index.js, and click compare with selected. As you can see in this screen, VS Code shows the differences between the two files. So we have a simple code here. We have a variable that is called list. Let's create another console.log that uses this variable. To use the control D shortcut, first you have to select a text. In this case, I want to see the next selection of list. I select list, press control D and I see VS code is selecting the next occurrence. I can even change the name of all the selections at once. This comes handy when you want to see where is the next occurrence of the variable or change the variable name very fast instead of searching and replacing. Next, I will show you how you can split your screens horizontally or vertically so that you can work faster and avoid going back and forth between files. For example, if you are working on a component, you can put the HTML file on one side, the JS file on other and the CSS file on another. This feature works perfectly if you have an ultra-wide monitor. I will create two more files and call them index2.js and index3.js. It is very easy to split the files. You just have to drag and drop the files and Visual Studio Code will help you choose how to split the screen. I will put three horizontal files at the top and one vertically at the bottom. You can play with it whichever you want. Next, I will show you what does the cursor click does. Imagine, you have many lines below each other that look identical. But you only want to change certain characters. You can put the mouse cursor on the place you want to have the change, click the cursor and move up and down however you want. The cursor will move with you. In this case, I want to change the log to warn. I can do it using the cursor, or using Ctrl D as I discussed before. You can use the cursor click more when you want to add a character at the end of the variable. It's that easy. Next, let's discuss code snippets. Code snippets are templates that make it easier to write repeating code patterns, such as loops or if statements. Things that you write 100 times per day. It's quite easy. When you write an if statement, VS Code will automatically show you a snippet under the box. You just have to select it and click enter. You just have to change the variable name and the rest is auto-generated. We have snippets for, for each statements, for loops, switch statements, for in statements and many more. You can even create your own snippet. Next, let's see how can we duplicate lines. I will create a simple console.log and duplicate it many times. To do that, you don't have to select the whole line and copy it then select the line below and paste it. You can simply press Ctrl C at the end of the line and press Ctrl V and the line will be duplicated. You can press Ctrl V as many times as you want and the lines will be duplicated accordingly. Next, to comment out a line, or a block of lines, you can select the part that you want to be commented out and press the Ctrl and K keys. They will be commented out. To uncomment it, it's the same method but you have to press the Ctrl and U keys. In Visual Studio Code, you can drag and drop lines. If you want to move lines to a certain location, you can select them and drag them with your mouse to the location you want. Next, 
I will show you how you can toggle between lines. Let's say you have two lines but you want to change their order for whatever reason. You can select the line, press Alt and Up, and the line will be switched with the line at the top. If you press Alt and Down keys, the line will switch locations with the line below. This comes handy, when you want certain code to execute before the other and you want to switch lines. You don't have to cut paste code to switch the orders. Just use the Alt and Up and Down keys. The next one is my favorite. The Shift, Alt, and F key shortcut. This shortcut basically formats your code to a cleaner code structure. VS Code has built-in Prettifier that can fix all your code structure and styling. You don't have to care about the indentation, spacing, and tabs anymore. Just press Shift, Alt, and F keys. As you notice, I am ruining the code structure in my piece of code, and VS Code is able to fix it perfectly. When you work with an enterprise application, you will easily face thousands of files in your project. It reaches a point when it's hard to search for files. Fortunately, you can use the search file option that VS Code gives you. Press Ctrl P and a text box will appear at the top of your editor. The search engine here is quite clever. Whatever you search, it will try to show you the results that you recently have been using. So switching between files becomes very easy. Visual Studio Code has a hidden search functionality, and that is inside the file tree. If you want to search for files and see their tree hierarchy, click on the file tree on the side panel, and type anything you want to search. I am going to type index now. As you can see, it started to highlight the search results. You can click on filter and it will only show the search results that matches the criteria. Click on the X icon, to clear the search results. That's it for me for this video. If you liked it, Please hit the like and subscribe button so that I can continue releasing more content for you. See you in the next one.